blog is all about finding the play in your everyday life. It's something I've been applying to my own life a lot recently, and it's come about in three different forms. The first is within my day-to-day -day life. I've started taking myself on play dates throughout the week. So if I have a free week or a couple free hours in the day, I've decided to just take myself out into the city of Chicago and go wherever my fancy drags me. So I've ended up at art museums, I've ended up at plazas downtown, I've ended up at bookstores, and it's just been a really great way to not only take advantage of the warm weather in Chicago, take advantage of the city that I love, but also to just be out in the world and, and know what my passion is dragging me towards. The second thing that I've been doing is been applying the playfulness to my yoga teaching. Whenever I teach my students, especially in poses like Happy Baby, I encourage them to find the play. If you've never seen Happy Baby, you can look it up online. It looks a little silly. You're lying on your back, your feet are in your hands, you're kind of rocking back and forth to like massage your back, and you're made to look like a happy baby. And a lot of times people can feel self-conscious in this pose. They feel a little silly. But I like to encourage my students to close their eyes and just get uninhibited and play and do what their body's asking for. Because that's ultimately what the pose is about. That's why it's called Happy Baby. The third thing that I'm super excited about adding play to my life in is within my business. Well, I started looking at my business plan and my business offerings and I was getting very serious and business minded about things. All of everything was planned out and strategized and had a marketing plan and it was very, very structured, which is sometimes a good thing, but it wasn't any fun at all. And so I sat back one day and I was just like, oh my gosh, how can I make this fun again? Not just for me, but for my, for my clients and my customers. And what came from that is my newest offering, which is tarot card meditations. I've been doing my own tarot card readings for myself and my friends for years now. And so it's something that I always do for fun. But every time I have a reading, I kind of leave thinking, well, now what? Well, that's where my meditation practice comes in. So meditating on specific goals and outcomes or emotions or releasing negative emotions is always really helpful after a tarot card reading. So I decided to offer that to all of you. So if you go to michellesheawalker.com and click on the shop page, you can go and purchase a $5 one question ask tarot card reading. And when your tarot card reading comes in your email, it will be accompanied by a hand-selected audio meditation that's been chosen specifically for your fortune to try and assist you in your bright future. But it's a really great way to introduce yourself to a practice if you don't have a meditation practice or to just have a little fun with your practice to incorporate the tarot card readings and your fortune along with it. If you don't want to play with me in that way, I still hope that this video has served you well and that you find the play within your everyday life. Like the video? Subscribe for future updates.